everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. However, today we are doing things a little bit different because today we are painting Croot Hounds. Yes, here they are, little gribblies, and they're not attached to anything. Normally, this is the type of thing you'd expect to see as part of a kill team or a character or something like that. But this is just one of those little units that just sort of exists. So. Rather than kind of go into depth in how we're going to paint these, as it won't take very long to paint them. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do War Hipster Uncut. Yes, today you're just going to see me paint this entire unit. I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do it, of course. It is a Contrast Plus painting tutorial after all, but you're not going to be kind of cutting this one up into bits. So there's going to be lots of music, lots of downtime. So if you're painting your crew hounds or you just want something to have on in the background whilst you're doing your own hobbying, then this is the video for you. So we're going to be painting up all five of these crew hounds and a big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me these early to build up and paint and well we're going to jump in in just a moment. They've all been primed in Wraithbone and in just a sec we're going to pick up our paints and brushes and we'll be kicking things off starting now. So the first colour we're going to use is Griff Charger Grey. I'm going to be applying this over the top of the entirety of the crew hound including its beak. I'm just going to get this all over. In fact, we are going to avoid the tummy, I should say. And I've just gone over the tummy a little bit there, so I'm just going to wash the brush, touch off the water, just get in there and mop that up. Move that off. There we go. Perfect. And now we're going to continue on.
with the Griff Charger Grey all applied, I'm then going to take some Saigor Brown. I'm going to use this over the top of all the quills. That's Saigor Brown applied, we're then going to take Coelia Green Shade and we're going to apply this over top of their tummies. Green shade applied. I'm then going to take some Black Legion 
I'm going to apply this over the top of the leather on their front legs as well as over the top of their claws. that black legion applied we then take black templar i'm going to use this over the top of the beaks so we're going to start just here apply this up to round about there then we're going to wash the brush touch off the water then we're just going to blend it out a little bit at the back corner. same thing over the top
with that black templar all applied, we're then going to take some pox walker. I'm going to use this to shade the rest of the crew hound's body. Excluding the belly. that then done we take a teeny tiny little dot of flash kits yellow and we apply this over the top of the eyeballs With that all done, it's now time to take some thinned down iron breaker. I'm going to use this over the top of all of the little bits of jewellery scattered around the model. The reason we're going straight in with iron breaker is well, they're all just smooth bits because of the paint we've already applied. It's already technically shaded, so it really doesn't need to be overcomplicated.
that then done, we're going to take some caraba crimson. Not very much of this at all. I'm just going to use this over top of the scars and the hide. And that one there. Got a little one just here. And that's it for this one. So with that done, they are all now basically at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. They're pretty good. So we're now going to take them to the next level. I'm going to add a couple of highlights. And the first of these is going to be some thinned down deep kin flesh. And we're going to use this to highlight all of the skin. Let's start right here at the front. And then make our way all around the rest of the model.
So with that all done, the next colour we're going to use is going to be some thinned down administratum grey. And we're going to use this to highlight the black of the beak and the leather Thank you. 
that administratum grey applied, we're then going to take some thins down, scrag brow. I'm going to use this to highlight the quills. So with all that scrag brown applied, the last thing we're going to do is take some Achillean green. And over the top of any of these kind of split bits of jewellery, in this things, literally it's gone out of my head. <laughs> um, quills, that's what they're called. Over the top of any of those, we're just going to apply this. I'm going to apply this over this smooth one as well, like that. I've got some more on the back here as well. Just 
just like that. And so with their bases all complete, our crew hounds are now finished. And I hope you've enjoyed this video uncut. There's very little editing that's gone in here other than on the music track, of course. And I hope you enjoyed listening to the music. And if you use this just as your background noise or indeed to help you paint your crew hounds, I hope you found the video useful for whatever reason you watch this video. Let me know if you want to see more like this. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do, as without you, I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks, just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming. Thank you.